All right, guys. So today I'm going to be going through how I go about breaking in and maintaining my brushed RC motors. Now, I personally use the water method. Now, you don't have to use water. I know some people are a little iffy about electronics and water. This is perfectly safe. The water helps keep the motor cool and also keeps it, uh, I don't know, I guess a little bit lubricated while it's doing its break-in and maintenance period. Um, so there's really not a whole heck of a lot to it. Uh, I got this little battery tray. Now with this one, I actually could do two motors at once. I only have the one side hooked up though to these leads. What I personally do is I hook up the motor first, dunk it in the water, make sure the connectors aren't gonna connect, and then I put in the batteries. Now I'm gonna be rotating these batteries once every five minutes or so, cause they get brutally hot when they're doing this. I actually have another set that I'm gonna be using cause these ones aren't fully charged. I did just break in a motor uh, not that long ago with these ones. So I'm gonna use these ones till they're dead, grab my other ones, again, rotating them about every five minutes or so, so they don't overheat. So let's get right to it. Uh, see, this is kind of what I was talking about with getting the leads so they don't touch. Maybe I'll actually add it to this side. This side, I believe, is the side that's hooked up. We will find out here. There we go. So these batteries are almost all gone. Yeah. <laughs> they're already pretty much dead. Okay, these ones are almost pretty much dead as well. Alright, so these ones should be fully charged. I did just charge them up about a week or so ago. Alright, much better. Alright, so I'm going to set a timer for about five minutes and I'm going to change them out once they start getting a little warm or preferably before they start getting warm. So we're just going to let this sit, change no batteries, not a whole heck of a lot to it for now. We'll let this sit and we'll be back. Right, guys so it's now been about a half hour uh, towards the end here I was actually swapping out the batteries every couple of minutes because the terminals on this battery holder are the ones that are getting really hot so those are heating up the batteries I just don't want to ruin them so towards the end there like I said I was just kind of swapping them out every couple of minutes but uh, all right so yeah it's been doing that for like I said about a half hour let's get all of our other stuff here all right, so this is the pan that we'll be spraying everything into. Now, I don't know how well you can see it, but the battery is not, or the motor is now kind of covered in a fine little uh, dotlets of, of oil and grease and everything here. So we're just gonna go ahead and clean the rest of that out of here using the contact cleaner. Enough babble here. Let's uh, finish cleaning this out. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's coming out of this. I'm sure the water has a decent amount in it as well. I don't really see much more grime coming out of here anymore. All right, so now I'm gonna set this off to the side, but I'll see you when it's dry. All right, motor's all dry now. I did end up leaving it outside in the sun. The, the cleaner, ended up actually making this pretty cool which ended up making it condensate and everything in this in this humidity so to completely dry it out again I left it out in the Sun luckily it's a beautiful sunny day out there today so now I'm just gonna add a little bit of this high-speed bearing oil to what I believe are bearings on the top and bottom here now I'll be honest I don't know a whole heck of a lot about these. 
but it looks like a bearing. So I've been adding bearing oil to them. And so far, you know, no, no issues. So I'll keep doing what works. And honestly, what I do, kind of get it worked, worked into the system a little bit, as I hook back up to my batteries. And that actually seems to pull the, the oil down in. I'm just gonna hook that. And then just top it off. Oh, a little more than, than needed there. Yeah, see, that kind of helps get out all the excess. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, this is how I personally break in and maintenance all of my brushed motors. If you have a different way of doing it, please let me know down in the comments. If something I'm doing is wrong, again, please let me know. Uh, I have done this a few times, nothing seemed to broke yet. Uh, if you have a suggestion of different, better chemicals I can use for the cleaning, drying, oiling, uh, whatever, again, I would love to hear what you have to say. So. That pretty much does it for this video. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.